Hey guys, it's Nikki from Tilly Made Muscle Cars. So today we're back on the GTX. We're about to do the headliner in it. Um, we've got it draped over the top of the car. You can kind of see it. Before we actually put it in, we're gonna try to get the wrinkles out of it, kind of let it set in the sun for a little bit. Um, the car itself though, it already has the trim and the top out of it. So the first thing that we gotta do is put in the insulation. This particular one that we have is not a factory style one. It's an aftermarket and it's basically just for heat and sound. And you can see we got the sail panels up and then we have to put some more in the strips in the center, so on and so forth. So we will get that going. All right guys, so I'm in here about to put up the last little piece of insulation. Um, but first, before we did that, we took out the bows. Um, so you can kind of see where the holsters are for these. But anyways, there's four of them and they're all different sizes. So just making sure we put the right ones back in the right order. Um, here's our insulation. We had to get some more of it from Lowe's. And again, it's just to help out with the noise and heat and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one back here. Um, Gotta be careful with these little little guys. Don't wanna get it on in there. And I'm going to just slide it. It should fit in the back, like so. Maybe. And then it's going to come over here on the side and it's gonna fit down in there. Not to crinkle it too much. I'm doing the back first and then it should slide up towards the front. Alright, so I just got this last little piece up in here. It's all tucked in. Just had to do a little finagling with it. Um, now it's time to put the bows into the headliner, so we will get those going and then move on to the next one. Alright, so we numbered these once we took them out just so we know which ones go in which order. So here would be the first one. And we just slide on through. So we got all the bows in, made sure that we put in, in the correct order, so one, two, three, and four, just because they are different sizes. And then once we put them in, we wanted to trim the edges. There's a bit of extra fabric, and we just want to make sure that we have about two inches or so of the metal actually sticking out so it can fit inside of the holsters in the inside. Um, you can correct me on the correct name. Anyways, we went ahead and measured the front of our headliner material. And it, this particular one ended up being about 56 inches. So we just found a center point um, and we just took a little chalk. This way, when we put it in, the center point should line up with the um, mirror. And the back one, sometimes these come pre-measured at the center point just because it's a little tricky with the curved edges to get that exact point. But we did it on the back side too, on the underside. So now is the process to fit it in first bow in its first holster. You want to start at the back always and then work your way forward. Um, those little clips that I was trying to not put our insulation in earlier, those actually go right into this white fabric right here and they kind of hang on it and it does, it does make a, a hole and it goes through. So it's kind of awkward to put these in so I'm kind of in front of the fabric and I'm on to my next one. Again, this is why we left that little piece trimmed so the metal is sticking through. And it's easier to gum in here. Okay. Uh -oh. Come on. Okay, so with a little help from my assistant, Sean, I was able to get the rest of these bows in place. And here it is so far hanging up. And if we take a look over here, our chalk piece matches up with the bolts where the mirror is going to go. So it's centered. On to the next step. All 
right, so this is a slow going process. We started up at the front at the center point where our mirror was, and there's little tiny teeth that the fabric has to attach to basically. So the teeth kind of go through it. So we're starting, we did a couple in the front, a couple in the back, and then we're just kind of kind of work our way front to back, so on and so forth. And then once that's pulled, we're gonna do the sides. So that's what the teeth look like, just so you can see them, they're pointy. All right, so we're gonna pause it so we don't bore you with this, it takes a while. And then we'll move on to the next step. All right guys, so I'm back here trying to catch these teeth. So we started from the center, in the back and also from the front and I'm just kind of alternating going back and forth between the two so that we get this nice stretch um, see how taut it is and then we'll move out to the side some of these teeth are a little duller than others so I'm just trying to catch the ones as I'm pulling really tight I'm trying to get the sharper ones in and then I'm just kind of reinforcing them so I'll do a couple over here Okay, so I'm on to my next part of this, um, two-part adhesive. I'm going to just kind of brush it on here pretty quickly and then a little bit on the fabric and it's just going to pull it that much tighter and it makes it have a better bond, of course. So anyways, that little bit of fabric, I'm only doing a little bit because the rest of it's going to be trimmed up, so there's no need in wasting the product. Okay, so moving quick, quick, quick. Um, Alright guys, so we got the headliner attached to the teeth, it's pulled really tight. Um, we did do that two-part adhesive all through, you know, the sides up here above the teeth where they are, just to help it give it that extra strength. You can hear our lovely storms in the background. Anyways, um, after we did the two-part adhesive, we just trimmed up the extra fabric. And the next part, we're going to go ahead and um, pull out the trim we're not sure what shape it's in so it wasn't on the car to begin with um, so stay tuned for that we're also going to go ahead and add in you know the dome light area I got to trim that out and the visors and put in the mirror and all that good stuff so hope you enjoyed hope it was sort of informational please like comment subscribe let us know